being a threat. We can speak now to Asai Chahata from BBC Arabic, who's with me here. So what does this mean now for Israel and the IDF? There have been uh, immense pressure on Israel in order to start negotiation to have another truce to release the hostages. After the Israeli army uh, admitted the killing by mistake, the three hostages, there is pressure from the families of the hostages, there is demonstration. Uh, so there is pressure from this side and from America. So the Jack, uh, Jake Sullivan visit and the coming visit of the minister, American Minister of Defense, Lloyd Austin, all of that. So from inside Israel and from outside, there is pressure on Israel to start negotiation again. And there is some reported that the head of Mossad, is going to meet soon the uh, Qatar prime minister, the main mediator uh, for this kind of truce with the support of Egypt, but the main mediator is Qatar. So this to uh, give indicators about uh, the, uh, the urgency of having another truce in order to release hostages and to uh, stop fighting in order to allow more aids, because there is many problems inside Gaza, lack of food, lack of a long queues to get food and water, lack of electricity. So there is many humanitarian problems Problems, and the truth will help to alleviate this pressure on civilians in Gaza. And there's been that escalation in pressure uh, over the last week or so, a change in language from the US talking about the style of fighting that Israel is deploying, votes in the United Nations. So increasing international pressure on Israel, but no sign of any particular change yet. The change is there is uh, Israeli officials communicated with American uh, counterparts about the intense operations which is currently on. It will uh, finish by uh, in two to three weeks. And after this will be targeted, you know, like uh, uh, areas within uh, Gaza, not will be on this massive scale. And this will make like the civilian killing casualties will be less because American put pressure on Israel to protect civilians, to do more in order to avoid killing civilians. Because now, uh, you know, recently, the recent news is there is 12 uh, children were trapped in uh, a hospital, it's called Kamal Edouan Hospital, and there is no water, no electricity, nothing there. Uh, there is some like uh, houses were destroyed in Jabalia and in Khan Yunis, and one of the casualties was the uh, Al Jazeera cameraman. So all of that, you know, put pressure on Israel because America cannot take it anymore on the international level because in the General Assembly, America looks like who, you know, like were, were criticized by many parties. So American put pressure, American is the main supporter of Israel, I think, and the uh, pressure from the family of hostages, I think both of them, both, uh, these two factors, two actors, will make a change. And I think the sign of changes, the reports about the head of Mossad meeting the Qatari prime minister. So it, it, it might happen soon, a kind of truce in order to uh, release some hostages and make less pressure on Israel and looking forward for a kind of ceasefire negotiation, post-war, all of that will be. But at, at least now, the need for truce in order to make situation much better than now. Okay, so Charter, thank you very much for coming in and talking us through that. Thank you.